Hello everyone, welcome to another uh, video. Uh, so as you can tell by the title, this is my Funko Pop collection, uh, updated, because I did one of these a while back, um, a couple of months ago, maybe more than that, uh, and I've gotten so many since then. Uh, so pretty much, um, I keep all these all in different places around my room. Um, I knew I had a lot, but I didn't know it was this many. Like now that they're all together, it's just like, wow, this is crazy. So I actually counted um, how many I have here. So each of these uh, rows, I guess you could say, have 12. And then there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows. So that's 72 in this main area. And then also I have uh, the mini pops. I guess these count too because, I mean, they're pretty much the same thing, just smaller. Um, and on the box it does say pop, uh, you know, but mini. So I have two of these. Um, I'm going to go by one by one, by the way, of all all the ones here um, and show you each one I have. So I have two mini ones right there. So that makes 74. And then I have one, two, uh, three uh, large size pops. So that makes uh, 77, right? And then I also have two vehicles here. Um, so if you count vehicles, you know, um, as pops themselves, it would make it 79. So I either have 77 or 79, depending on how you... Uh, you know look at it so yeah i have a lot <laughs> i didn't think it'd be that many wow um and i'm pretty sure i grabbed all the one i looked around my room a few times i think i grabbed every single one i have um i'm looking around right now so yeah um and like i said these are just strictly funko pops i do have other funko items you know like bobbleheads and stuff like that but i'm just uh li you know keeping this video down to uh pops so and it's kind of funny too because i cleared my entire desk for this and i actually have like the right amount of the exact amount of room I need for all this. Uh, maybe I could fit like, you know, one or two more if I needed to. But yeah, I have like the exact amount of room. So <laughs> next time I do one of these videos, I'm going to have to do more than just my desk because I'm going to have way more. So yeah, so as of February 20 something, what's today? The 20, I don't know. I lost, I don't even know what day it is. But yeah, whatever day I upload this. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to upload this tomorrow. So I'm filming this on Friday. I'm actually going to have this uploaded on Saturday tomorrow. Um, so whatever Friday is, that's the date. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm going to actually have my tripod set up here. So I'm going to put my phone here and let's go. All right, so let's just start with State Puff Marshmallow Man right here. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Ghostbusters and these are in no particular order like I just went around my room like you know like I said and grabbed all of them some are related to each other you know in the order I grab them because that's they were put together in the same spot but some are just you know kind of mixed up in there so yeah uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man right there really cool I love this huge fan of Ghostbusters all right next up we have Big Daddy from Bioshock I actually have an unboxing video for this that I did uh, last year when I first got it um yeah, pretty cool. Big Daddy from my favorite video game, Bioshock. I also have the little sister. She's in there somewhere. We'll get to her eventually. And like I said, I have two tiny ones right here. Um, I didn't intentionally buy these, by the way. These came in uh, subscription boxes. Like, this came in the Horror Block by Nerd Block. This is a Daryl from Season uh, 4 or 5 of Walking Dead. I want to say 5. Maybe 5, yeah, I think so. So, yeah. That's Daryl right there. I know it's kind of blurry. Um... I right, adjust my light here. Bring my lamp over. So that's Daryl Dixon right there from season four or five, I want to say. And then we have Rocket Raccoon, of course, from Guardians of the Galaxy. I got this in a sci fi block. And also, both of these guys have uh, holes on the top of there because they were keychains. I just unscrewed the keychain part because, you know, like I said, I want to have these as pops. Um, so yeah, I unscrewed the keychain things off the top, but I still have the keychain somewhere. So if I ever do want to put it on you know, a lanyard or something, I could still do that, but, uh, yeah, so this is, uh, Rocket Raccoon in his head, you know, it's like a bobblehead, I'm pretty sure that they make every single Marvel pop a bobblehead, I think that's the case, because out of all, the, I don't have many Marvel ones, but out of all of them, like Deadpool, Wolverine, um, the Collector from Guardians of the Galaxy, they're all bobbleheads, 
And I, I think I just listed every single Marvel one I have. I would buy more Marvel Pops, but it's like there's so many characters, I would just end up spending way too much money. The same applies to Star Wars. Like, I don't have that many Star Wars Pops. It's just like, you know, there's so many characters, I would end up spending way too much um, trying to get everybody, you know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah. Rocket Raccoon right there. All right, next up is the RV from Breaking Bad. Now, this actually came with a Jesse Pinkman that was, like, wearing a green shirt. Um, I actually have a Jesse that's wearing red. He's over there. I'll get to him eventually. Um, I don't have the Jesse that's wearing the green anymore because I traded it uh, to my sister for something. Uh, she actually had the Ecto-1, which came with Winston, uh, you know, from Ghostbusters. I wanted that, so I traded her my Jesse, and she gave me both. I was like, oh, okay, that works. <laughs> so, because I didn't need that Jesse because, like I said, I had the one who was wearing red, the other Je Jesse, you know, he's wearing the red clothing from season one of Breaking Bad. Um, I didn't really need the other Jesse, so I treated her and she gave me the Ecto-1. So yeah, because she likes Jesse. So there's the RV from Breaking Bad. All right, next up is the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. Now this is, of course, the original Ghostbusters. I refuse to see the new one. I'm sorry. Um, or buy any of the, you know, pops. I know they made pops for all the new characters but i'm not gonna buy that i have all the pops for the old movie though like i'm pretty sure i have every single one that they made not, you know not exclusives or anything like that but you know each character like dana lewis zool uh slimer you know stay puff which i showed you already <laughs> speaking of zool next up is zool right there really awesome from ghostbusters really cool all right, that's Zool right there. That came in a three-pack with uh, Lewis and Dana. All right, next up on my left here, I'm going to grab Rick from Season 1 of The Walking Dead. I have two other Ricks, which I'll show right after this. But this is him from Season 1 in his cop outfit right there, or Sheriff's Deputy right there. I have three Ricks because I'm just a huge Rick fan. He's like my favorite, and Negan. Um, more so in the comic books. I've said this many times, but I like the comic series better. Um, but I still, you know, love Rick nonetheless on the show and the comics. Negan, I love more so in the comics, you know, for obvious reasons, if you read them. He can't curse like a sailor on TV because <laughs> it's cable TV. All right. Next up is Rick from... Oh, that was like a season three and four Rick I just showed you. This is like season five right here. Rick. Pretty cool. I like this one the best, actually. I like the machete one, too. Um, it's a kind of a toss-up between these two. Yeah. I want to say I like this this one more. Uh, season 5, Rick. But yeah. I have three Ricks. Next up is Daryl. Right there. This is like Season 1, Season 2-ish era. Daryl. More so Season 1, I think. But yeah, he has a crossbow right there. Yeah, pretty basic. That's Daryl right there. Next up is the man himself, Negan. Baseball bat. And this is season six, of course, because he still got his beard. <laughs> and they made this right after his uh, one episode he was in, you know, before season seven even aired. That's when this came out. So, yeah. Awesome. Got some gunk on the back, it looks like. Anyways, I'll do that later. But yeah, that's Negan. Next up is Pinhead from Hellraiser. I got this in a horror block. Um, I'm not really a Hellraiser fan. I've actually never seen any of the movies, but I really like how this looks. Pinhead's a cool character, too. He's got the little puzzle box right there. You know, I think I did see the first Hellraiser a long time ago, but on, like, TV, so I didn't really see it. If you ever see a movie on, for the first time and it's on TV, you know, on cable, you didn't really see the movie because they edit the movies all the time. Unless it's, like, a kid's movie. But it's, like, you know, if it's a rated R movie, they edit the movie, you know, take out all the curse words, blah, 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 tone down the violence. So, yeah. Never watch a rated R movie for the first time on TV. Make sure you, like, watch how it actually is. Uh, yeah. So that's Pinhead right there. Pretty cool. Alright, next up is Hannibal Lecter from Science of the Lambs. I absolutely love the Hannibal Lecter trilogy, as in, you know, Science of the Lambs, Hannibal, and uh, Red Dragon. I never did see Hannibal Rising. I heard it was bad. I never did watch the new Hannibal show. But I do have the pop from that. I'll explain why. Uh, <laughs> I never did watch the new Hannibal show. Um, I don't know, I just never thought about watching it, and yeah, it's pretty cool. It's not like the wheels roll or anything, but still, he's tied up. I mean, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> so, that's Hannibal Lecter right there. Silence of the Lambs. And next we have Hannibal, played by Mads Mikkelsen on The Hannibal Show. 
I got this in a horror block, so I didn't intentionally buy this. Um, it just happened to me, you know, by chance. But it's still very cool. He's got his knife right there. So, yeah, Hannibal Lecter from the Hannibal TV show, which I believe got canceled, right? Well, they're actually going to try to put it on Netflix or something to continue it. I don't know. All right, next up is Chucky from uh, Bride of Chucky with his stitches. Really nice. I actually have the other Chucky here that they made. Now, I've said this a few times. You know, I didn't like that this Chucky has uh, stitches, even though the box said Child's Play 2 on it. As we know, he didn't get stitches till Bride of Chucky. But, you know, it's not a big deal. This is just, you know, they didn't they don't have to make all these extremely accurate. I, I can see why they did it. And they didn't make the stitches that accurate either. As you can tell, this is more accurate. As you can see, he's just got, like, two little things going on here. Um, and they also said Child's Play 2 because uh, MGM owns the rights for the first Child's Play. And I think they had to go by Universal because they, they own Chucky now. Uh, the Chucky franchise, so they had to use Child's Play 2 as the reference, or the name on the box, instead of Child's Play 1, because they don't, they, Universal didn't have the rights for that. But they eventually put Child's Play 1 in the Chucky box set, with all the other movies, so, yeah, it worked out. But yeah, he's got his little knife right there, and I, I want, I do prefer this one, obviously. Really awesome. Chucky right there. Next up, we're getting on to Star Wars. I have Darth Vader right here. They all got their little stands. This is Darth Vader from Rogue One. Um, I wish he had his lightsaber out, but it's okay. Um, I mean, if you've seen Rogue One, you know what I'm talking about. I guess it would have been kind of a spoiler if they had him with his lightsaber out. Because, you know, these came out before the movie came out. So, if you had him with his lightsaber out, people would have known. Wait, is Darth Vader going to use his lightsaber in the movie? <gasps> Sorry if I gave away anything, but yeah. <laughs> Darth Vader does pull out his lightsaber for a reason. In the movie. I won't say what if you haven't seen it. You should see it. So that's Darth Vader right there. I really like how this looks. Nice and glossy. Very black. I like it. So yeah, Darth Vader. Next up we have Boba Fett. I believe this is a very old pop. This is from like 2013. It says actually. Yeah, right there. Boba Fett. Right there. Really cool. And I don't know why they make a stand for every single Star Wars. And every single Star Wars also is a bobblehead, I noticed, too. So every Marvel, every Star Wars is a bobblehead. Maybe it has to do with Disney. Does that have to do with Disney? Is that the reason? I don't know. But yeah, he's a bobblehead. He's pretty cool. Rebel scum. Alright. So that's Bo Boba Fett. Next up we have Luke Skywalker. From Bespin. With his lightsaber out. Very cool. Like in this one. Of course, you got the stand right there. And a lot of these are dusty, by the way, because my room, it gets a lot of dust. You can see his little footprints right there. <laughs> this is all dust. So I didn't have time to dust off every single one of these. I just grabbed them all, so you'll notice some dust on them probably. But yeah, there's Luke right there. And I do, by the way, I do have all the boxes for every single one of these. It's good to keep the boxes. Um, I don't keep them in the boxes, though, because I wouldn't have room to display all the boxes in a nice display. I just have all the boxes, like, kind of jam-packed somewhere. Um, actually, I can show you real quick. I have all the boxes jam-packed right here underneath my uh, DVD shelf. All those boxes are right there. They're all just filled up back there. Like, this whole thing's full of boxes. But, yeah, I do have all the boxes. I just I keep all the figures loose, though, and display them. I, do, I am aware that they get dusty, of course, which sucks, but, yeah. Here is Jin Erso from uh, Rogue One. This is a Hot Topic exclusive. She's got her hood on her head there. I believe that's the only reason it's an exclusive. The only difference is that she has a hood on, I think. I don't, I'm not sure. But yeah. Jin Erso right there. I want to get K2SO in particular. Uh, maybe a few of the other characters. Because I, I absolutely love Rogue One. I can't wait till it comes... April 4th, by the way, is when it comes out on Blu-ray, I think. I already pre-ordered it yesterday, actually. The Best Buy Steelbook, which looks beautiful. Uh, I can't wait to rewatch that movie over and over again because I loved it. I actually liked Rogue One better than The Force Awakens. I'm sorry, but I did. Um, yeah. <laughs> so here's Jyn Erso. Um, yeah, pretty cool. All right. Next up is Master Yoda from Dagobah. The Dagobah system. Right there. So this would be an Empire Strikes Back Yoda then. Um, I mean, I guess you could say he was in Dagobah and Return of the Jedi, but he wasn't standing up in that movie, really. He was lying down and kind of, you know, died. Uh, <laughs> as you can tell here, he's standing up. He's got his cane and everything. So, yeah, 
Dagobah Yoda. Yoda from Dagobah system. Right there. Alright, next up is C-3PO. Now, the reason why I have C-3PO is because I got him in a sci-fi block. I didn't intentionally buy him, but it's still a very cool one. And, of course, this is from The Force Awakens because he has the red arm. But still very cool. I know a lot of people don't like C-3PO, but I like him. I think he's funny. Uh, yeah, C-3PO right there, bobblehead. <laughs> Next up is Dr. Emmett Brown. Now, this is a Loot Crate exclusive. Um, this is him from Back to the Future 1 when he's working on... Uh, when he's practicing... Well, no, when he's building the model for uh, Marty and showing him how he's, he's going to travel back to back in time. And he, uh, you know, he's setting up everything. Here, you get the little car battery, it looks like. Black and red, right there. So yeah, this is really cool. He's got his goggles on. He's got a little <laughs> cut on his head because that's when he slipped and hit his head and thought of the flux capacitor. But yeah, you can't buy this anywhere. Um, it came in a loot crate from October 2015, I think it was. It was the time theme. But I absolutely love this stock brown. It's awesome. Really cool. I want to get Marty in the DeLorean one day, maybe the other Doc Brown. I just never got around to it. Because I feel like that's going to become rare eventually, the DeLorean. All right, next up is Little Sister from Bioshock. Like, like I said earlier, my favorite video game ever. My favorite video game series ever, also. But yeah, she's got the little uh, syringe here with the atom inside of it. And also, of course, all female pops have this little clear stand. Just because they're a lot thinner and it's hard, hard for them to stand up on their own, so they all come with a little stand. So yeah. And I actually didn't know about that until maybe my third or fourth female pop I bought. Um, I noticed it had a stand and like I would say wow these female ones can't stand up that well They should come with a stand or something and I noticed they had a hole in their foot And I never looked inside because you know the boxes are just plastic inside and these are in the plastic But you kind of don't see it. You know what I mean? Like it just blends into the plastic uh, casing So you don't notice there's a stand in there unless you know about it So I didn't even notice so I went back to the other boxes Thank God I keep all my boxes and I opened up and I saw little stands in each box. So I was like, oh, these, these did come with stands. So I put them on the stands. Like Harley Quinn, for example, from Suicide, Suicide Squad, which, I get, which I'll get to. Um, you can go back and look at the unboxing video I did for that months ago. And I didn't notice there was a stand in there. <laughs> so, yeah. Eventually, I went back to the box and pulled out the stand. All right, next up are some Breaking Bad Pops I have. This is Walter White from uh, Season 1. Well, actually, just the very first episode. Where he's got his pants off. <laughs> he's holding the gun. Very awesome. And they modeled this after the poster for season one, if you can't tell. Um, actually, I might as well go grab... It's not too far away. Season one. Here's the DVD. Look. See, this is what I mean. They modeled it like that. <laughs> See how his pants are... There is a shirt is covering half, just like that. And he's got his gun in his hand like that. And he's got his legs like that. They modeled it pretty much just after this poster. So that's pretty funny. But yeah, Walter White from Season 1, Episode 1. And yes, they did have old, other Walter Whites, but I preferred to get this one just because it's like the original. Um, I got like a uh, thing for original, uh, not originality, what's it called? Uh, throwback, I guess, you know, from the very beginning. Like, I, I like when things go back to the very beginning of something. So I preferred getting Season 1 versions of characters. Like, for instance, this is Jesse, of course. Uh, season 1 Jesse. Like I said, they had other versions. Like, they had Jesse and Walt in hazmat suits. But, like I said, I prefer the original versions of stuff. Um, yeah, here's Jesse's own big thing. Cash on his hand right there. T-shirt. Tattoo. So, yeah, pretty cool. Facial hair. So, yeah. And, like I said, the Jesse earlier that I mentioned that came with the RV, it's literally this exact mold. But instead of red on the beanie and the shirt, it's green. And I think the pants might have been different color too, but yeah, my sister has that, Jesse. All right, here we have Mike Ehrman Trout with a little bandage in his ear. It's pretty funny. From season four when he accidentally got shot in his ear. Uh, he's got a gun in his hand. So I guess you could say this is a season four Mike, because I don't think he had the bandage on anymore in season five. Pretty cool. And he does have a few nicks on his head here, because I think he fell a couple times. Um, you can actually take these nicks off if you, like, really, like, put pressure on it. You can take these nicks off. But, yeah. There's Mike right there. He's got little bags under his eyes. So, that is Mike. Next up, we have Gustavo. 
spoiler alert, um, his face is burnt off. Uh, if you haven't seen Breaking Bad, I won't explain how this happened, but yeah. He doesn't look too good. Uh, <laughs> but they do have a regular Gustavo also, but I went with this one just because it's like, you can't say no to this. I mean, this is awesome. With his face off right there. He's adjusting his tie, of course. If you've seen the show, you know what this is all about. But yeah, there's Gustavo Fring right there, and I can't wait to see him on Better Call Saul Season 3, which is coming very soon on AMC. Next up, we have Hank. Um, what I did, if you can't tell, I bought each character from Breaking Bad. Um, I didn't buy every single version, though, of each character, but I do have each character that they made. Hank, of course, DEA agent, brother-in-law, Walter White. He's got his watch. He's got his little badge right there. Not much going on, but yeah, that's Hank Schrader right there. Alright, let's uh, move on to Saul Goodman here. Dusty on his head there. And he actually has a little ribbon on from uh, the airplane crash in season two. Spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, he like would constantly wear this ribbon for like every episode he was in afterwards. So yeah, he's got his little Bluetooth headset on. And yeah, I like the little pose he's striking right there. He's pointing his hand, he's got his other hand open up. Yeah, pretty funny. But yeah, that's Saul right there. They also made a Saul for uh, Better Call Saul, I believe. Uh, they named it J Jimmy McGill, which is his real name. But I didn't buy that one. If they make more Better Call Saul Pops, I'll probably buy them. Like, if they make characters that weren't made for Breaking Bad, you know what I mean? I'll buy those. Like, if they make Nacho, for instance, or the, you know, or spoiler alert, other people that pop up in that show. Uh, but yeah. Alright, here we have, um, I honestly don't even know his name. I got this in a sci-fi block. Um, this is the lead character from Firefly, played by uh, um, Nathan Fillion, right? Yeah, I don't even know his name, so... <laughs> I've mentioned this a couple times. I didn't intend on buying this, and I'd never watched Firefly. I think I tried watching the first episode once. I just never got into it. Um, I know a lot of people love Firefly, um, but he's got his little gun there. But I don't know the character's name. I'm very sorry. I should have like went back and looked. And the box, I can't even get to it right now. It's buried in all those boxes I showed you. So, yeah, I don't even know his name. But there's the lead character from Firefly. All right, next up, we're doing some Evil Dead. This is Ruby. Uh, from Asher's Evil Dead, the television show. As you can tell, I have the other ones here. And also the original Ash from Army of Darkness. Um, yeah, this is Ruby, played by Lucy Lawless. Of course, with a stand right there. And she got a little knife in her hand. I don't know why they didn't give her the Kandarian Dagger. That would have been way better, but it's okay. This is, of course, her from Season 1. Uh, with her jacket, green shirt. Uh, yeah, this is her look from Season 1. I assume they're going to make Season 2 ones also, which are cool. I'll buy every one they, that they make, because I bought every single Season 1 that they made. Every se Season 1 pop that they made. So that is Ruby right there. Next up, we have Kelly Maxwell from Asher's Evil Dead. Season 1. She got a little axe in her hand there. Red shirt. The hair. Stand, of course. So yeah, that's Kelly right there. Oops. Hit the tripod. I'm kind of far back because I had to put the tripod far back so you could see all this because there's so many. Um, actually, I can move the tripod a little closer now because I've taken so many off the shelf, the desk already. All right, I can scoot up a bit. All right, next up is Pablo. Pablo Simon Bolivar, right? That's his name. And I love that his hair, his hair, I love his hairstyle. It's funny. It's like really tall. His mustache right there. A little uh, bottle in his hand. Horses from season one, right there. Pablo, right there. Awesome. I can't wait till season two comes out on Blu-ray. I, I did watch it on the Stars app because I don't have the Stars television. I don't have the channel. But if you want to watch Stars programming, you can download the app. And I, I want the show to continue. Asher's Evil Dead. So I said, uh, yeah, if I if I pay for the app and I just watch that, that'll help you know help the viewing or the viewership, I guess you could say. And they did get renewed for Season 3, which is awesome. But next up is Ash from Army of Darkness right here. The third Evil Dead film. Fun fact, they wanted to call Army of Darkness the Medieval Dead. But they never, Universal didn't let them do that. Um, so yeah, Chainsaw right there in his hand. Shotgun, aka Boomstick. Uh, yeah, really cool. The only thing I don't like about this pop in particular, he's like leaning forward. If you set him down, he's like leaning very much forward. But uh, other than that, it's really awesome. Got a little cut on his face there. Eyebrows, really funny. Hair dangling down. I really love this pop. And there's Ash from 
Army of Dark, or not Army of Darkness, Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 1, my bad. A much nicer looking updated version. Cool paint job on the chainsaw and on the shotgun there. Nice chrome paint. Really like this one. He's also got a little neck on his face. They did that on um, the last few episodes when he went back to the cabin. Um, there's a little holster on his back. Um, they gave him another, another little neck on his face because that's what he had in Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness, of course. And maybe even the first Evil Dead. Uh, but yeah. Awesome. Rash right there. You got a little grain is here too. And here they are next to each other. So... Awesome. Alright, so those are the ashes right there. And next we have Nathan Drake from Uncharted. This is uh, from Uncharted 4, actually. Awesome, right there. I love the Uncharted games. Uncharted 4 is the best game I've ever played. Um, beautiful game, also. And here's a little hook that they include. That, that was part of that game's, uh, I guess you could say, features. Like, you know... He can shoot, he can run, blah, 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 but now he has a little hook and hook thing. I don't think he had that in the first three games. Uh, but yeah, awesome. Nathan Drake right there. Great character. Yeah, if they ever make a Nathan, or not, uh, an Uncharted movie, they better not screw up. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, because I heard the Assassin's Creed uh, movie sucked. So I'm not going to buy that. All right, next is Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones. Right here, the little stand on. Now, I, I don't... It's been a while since I've watched Game of Thrones. I don't know what this thing in their hand is. I forget what it is. Um, it's like a golden thing with, like... Thing on the end. I don't know what this is. I forget. But, yeah. This is, like, her season four look, I think. I don't know. Got the braids in her hair there. But, yeah. Daenerys right there. Awesome. Great character. That's the only Game of Thrones pop I own, actually. Um, I'm not like a crazy fan, but I do have all the seasons. I do enjoy the show, but I'm not like a diehard fan like everybody. Um, I only got that Daenerys because I was at Dave and Buster's and they had a few pops and that was like the best one. And I just wanted to get something with all the points I had. So I just got that. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't have but Don't you? That's a crappy part about arcade places. You know, when you get all these points and tickets and all that, they never have any good prizes. So that was like the coolest thing. That's why I got it. If they have cool prizes, it's like worth, it's like way too much. You might as well just go buy it instead of, you know, spending money on tickets. Because it takes like a billion tickets to get something that's, you know, worth it. Uh, yeah, anyways, here's Slimer <laughs> from Ghostbusters. I really love this one too. I like that he has, you know, the slime as his uh, stand, I guess you could say. But yeah, I gotta love Slimer. Awesome. Yeah. Alright, that's Slimer. Next up, we have Sean from Shaun of the Dead. He's got a little red on him, of course. He's got his little cricket bat. His tie, his uniform. For that stupid little TV store he works in. Or electronic store. His red hair. I love Shaun of the Dead. It's my favorite of the, uh, the uh, Cornetto trilogy. And, of course, you can't have Sean with it without Ed. And we got Ed. I got wood. He's got his shovel in his hand. Awesome. Facial hair, of course. Ah, man, I think I'm going to go rewatch Shaun of the Dead right after I do this video. Because I love that movie. Shaun of the Dead, awesome. Shaun and Ed. Alright, let's put them off to the side. Next up, we have Groot. Oh, I forgot to mention I had Groot. Baby Groot, at least. Um, or Dancing Groot, I guess you could say. Now, this was actually Bobblehead. Um... I had to glue this because I broke the spring eventually. Because, you know, sometimes bobbleheads, the head gets messed up, so you have to, like, turn it so you can get the head back on straight. And I think I messed with it too much that the spring eventually broke. So what I did, I took the head out, I took the spring out, and I just glued uh, this part onto the into the head. So now it's stuck like this. But I don't mind it. It's okay. And it says, I am Groot right there. So, yeah, pretty funny. Little dancing Groot right there. All right, next up, let me start on the left. We have Agent Smith from um, uh, The Matrix, played by Hugo Weaving, of course. He's got a little earpiece. I got this in a sci-fi block as well, so I didn't intentionally buy this, but still very cool. Great character. I like his glasses. They're really cool. Or sunglasses, I should say. He's got his gun in his hand there. He's got his black suit. Pretty awesome. Mr. Anderson. Right, put him off to the side. Next up, we have Captain Jack Sparrow here. 
Absolutely love how this one looks. It's very detailed. Chrome paint and stuff. His eyes are funny. I mean, look. <laughs> Sword out. Just really nice. Nice and detailed. Love this one. And I can't wait for the next part of Caribbean. I love that series. It's coming out in uh, May, I think. Or June. May or June. Or July. One of those three. Next up we have Slash here. Who I unboxed recently. Really awesome. Cigarette in his mouth. Classic hat. Les Paul guitar, tattoos, just really awesome. I love this one. I didn't get Axl Rose just because, I mean, eh, Axl Rose is Axl Rose. I'm not, like, crazy about Guns N' Roses that much, but Slash is iconic. So, yeah, I went with Slash for sure. His hair goes down so far that you can't even turn his body. Like, his hair prevents him from turning. Even down here, see? You can't turn him that way. <laughs> but, yeah, that's Slash. Really awesome. Next up, we have Dana Sigourney Weaver. From uh, Ghostbusters, when she's possessed, uh, she puts this on and tries to seduce Peter, who she thinks is the key master. <laughs> but yeah, pretty funny. Uh, she got the stand, of course, right there. Orange dress. Makeup on her face. But yeah. Are you the key master? Yep, Ghostbusters is awesome. Alright, next up we have the four Ghostbusters. Peter Vankman, Bill Murray. Proton pack on his back. It says Vankman right there. And he's got his little Bill Murray esque, I guess you could say Widow's Peak slash. I don't know what you call this. <laughs> but you know, it's such a Bill Murray thing. You can just tell by the face that this is Bill Murray. I mean, look. <laughs> so, yeah, awesome right there, Bill Murray. Next up, we have Ray Stance, played by uh, um, Dan Aykroyd. A trap in his hand, walkie talkie. It says Stance. And we got his uh, Proton Pack there. And yeah, he's got his little the eyepiece on. And you can actually use this equipment in the Ghostbusters game, which is cool. Um, that game was underrated. That's like... Because, you know, Harold Ramis right here sadly passed away. Actually, three years ago today that I'm making this video on uh, Friday, I saw on my Facebook earlier that this is the third anniversary of his passing. So, yeah, I mean, that's sad, but, yeah, I didn't really plan that, but, yeah. So, I'm filming this on the third anniversary of Harold Ramis, pass, uh, rest in peace. Um, but they did come, these four guys, you know, the four actors here, and also, uh, what's her name, who voiced uh, Janine? You know, uh, the desk secretary, I guess you could say, uh, for the Ghostbusters. They all returned to voice their characters in the third, well, in the Ghostbusters video game, which I consider kind of the third movie. Also, what's his name? Walter Peck came back, too, to vo uh, <laughs> was in that game also. But yeah, it's underrated. Uh, it's technically the third movie that they never got to make together. Uh, so yeah. And here he's got the uh, EKG meter or whatever it's called. What's this called? PKE? Something like that. While he's talking to Sam. Glasses. Yeah. And this pop, actually, in particular, is rare, I think, too. This is a very rare one to find. That's going for, like, a lot of money, I think, if you look it up. Uh, but yeah, there's uh, Egon Spengler, played by Harold Ramis. And next we have Winston Zedmore, played by... Uh, uh, hold on a minute, I'll think of his name. Who plays Winston? Jeez, why can't I think of his name? Um, wow, why can't I think of the actor's name? And I've seen him in a few movies, too. Not just Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Um... Oh, Ernie Hudson, there you go. Jeez, couldn't think of his name, sorry. But yeah, th and this Winston also has the holes in his feet because he came with the Ecto-1, and he fits inside. Now, I actually think this Winston is a smaller mold. Like, a smaller... Like, look, look at the body size compared to Egon, for instance, and the head size. He's, like, smaller. I think they made him smaller just, just because he can fit in the Ecto-1. So Winston is slightly smaller than the others, I think, but not a huge deal. So that's the four Ghostbusters. Next up, we have Louis Tully from Ghostbusters, played by Rick Moranis. Very funny character. He's got the, the device on his head when he's getting interrogated. Uh, and he's got the pizza in his hand. Oh, this is hilarious. And he's got the cool clear glasses right there. And shirts. Right there. Louis Tully. Awesome. And I love all the colors here, too. And he came in a three-pack with Zool and uh, Dana. Alright, next we have... I'm trying to get this dust off him. 
the dude from the Big Lebowski, Jeffrey Lebowski, played by Jeff Bridges, of course. Awesome. I want to buy other Big Lebowski pops, but they're, like, so expensive, I think. Like, if I, you know, want to buy them online, because I'll never find them in stores. I, I found this one in a store, but that was over a year ago, maybe two years ago, when I bought this. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I, if I want to get Walter, for instance, he's, like, going for a lot of money, I think. Um, or Donnie, you know. I, I actually do want to buy the other guys, because I love the Big Lebowski. It's, like, my fifth favorite movie. Um, he's got his white Russian right there. Pretty funny. He's always drinking one. Uh, but yeah, his little clothes on. Fun fact, Jeff Bridges actually uses actual clothing uh, in the movie. He's got his sunglasses on. Yeah, awesome. The dude right there. Great movie, great character. All right, next up we have Willy Wonka from the original film, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, played by Gene Wilder, rest in peace. I love this pop, it's beautiful. The hat's really nice. Got his cane, got his colorful shirt, purple um, jacket, I guess you call that. I'm not sure what you call that. But yeah, very nice pop. I like it. Willy Wonka. Next up, we have my favorite pop ever, Travis Bickle from Taxi Driver, my third favorite movie. Robert De Niro. Awesome. And the only pop that has articulation in the arms. Look at that. I've been waiting for someone to tell me, is there any other pop that does this, that has articulation in the arms? I love that they did that, man. Seriously. <laughs> Gold sunglasses. Mohawk. Right there. Army jacket on. We are the people. The guy in his hand. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alrighty. Next up, on the left here, we have Undertaker from WWE, one of my all-time favorite wrestlers. Very, very black, very glossy clothing. Awesome, I love this one. And I would say this is more of the Ruthless Aggression era Undertaker. Um, yeah, very nice. Long black hair, of course. Awesome, awesome. Undertaker right there. Another one of my all-time favorites, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, this is a uh, GameStop exclusive because it says 2K316 because he was on the cover of 2K15 or 16. Oh, 2K16. Uh, so they made an exclusive Stone Cold that says 2K on it for the video game because he was on the cover. Whoops. And right here says Austin. He's got his little knee braces on the back. Actually, it says WWE 2K. It's kind of hard to see. Right there. Smoking Skull. So yeah, uh, Stone Cold. Just awesome. Badass. Bald head. Yep, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Next up, another one of my all-time favorites, Brock Lesnar. I know a lot of people don't agree with that, but I'm a huge Brock Lesnar fan. This is a Walmart exclusive. So the tattoos, sword. That thing on his back. Skull. I always wondered what this one was, by the way. Do you, know, you guys know what this tattoo was? It's on his other arm, other shoulder. The one that's not the skull. This one. Is that supposed to be a dragon or something? I can never tell what that was. But yeah, he's got his red and black. Right now he just wears black. But he was wearing red and black when he first came back. So this is like a 2012-13-esque Brock, I want to say. So yeah, pretty cool. Love this one. Alright, next up we're moving on to the Suicide Squad. I have every member here. We have Diablo. Really nice, I like the tattoos. You got his jacket. The Hillsiders, East Los Angeles, HS13. I believe that stands for Hillsiders. 213, I guess that's an area code. Diablo, he had a seven, he's got a seven. But uh, yeah, he's got a little tattoo in his hand here. I'm not sure what that is, it's like three little dots. Whoops, keep dropping these, what's wrong with me? Uh, but yeah, that's Diablo right there. Next up, we have Killer Croc. Oh, Batman fell over. This Batman sucks at standing up, by the way. I'll get to that. It's the animated series, Batman. Please stand up. All right, I'm just going to let him lean over. <laughs> uh, Killer Croc here, of course. Really nice. And his jacket with gold paint on it. I like his skin, too. Alligator skin. Very detailed. 
the mouth. Even all the little teeth inside the mouth are like individually embossed, I guess you could say. So, or individually molded, whatever. Yeah, really cool killer croc right there. Awesome. Next up, we have Deadshot. Now, I kind of regret spying the Deadshot with a mask just because he didn't wear it that much in the movie. I should have bought the one without the mask, but it's still cool looking. He's got the eyepiece right there. Look at the gun. And the way I have the Suicide Squad displayed uh, normally is, you know, that picture of all of them together. That first picture that came out with all of them together, you know what I'm talking about? I actually thought he was wearing the mask in that picture, but he actually wasn't. Deadshot. So I, I was like, oh, I'm going to buy all the Suicide Squad. Um, and I did it while I was at, like, on break at work, actually. I did it on my phone to buy them, but I didn't look at the picture before I did that. And later on, I looked at the picture. I was like, wait, Deadshot's not wearing the mask. Ah. Uh, but it's not a huge deal. It's still really cool. I mean, if anything, it's more Deadshot-esque anyway. He's wearing... Deadshot's supposed to have a mask on with the eyepiece. I believe him without the mask on is just his face. He's not doesn't have the eyepiece on or anything. So, yeah, that's Deadshot right there. Alright, next up is Harley Quinn. I absolutely love this one. Stand, baseball bat, tattoos, Dazzle Monster, all the colors, rotten, heart. Very cool. I love this one. Great character. And a great pop. So, Harley Quinn right there. Next up, we have Rick Flagg, of course, from Suicide Squad. His military cut right there. Gun in his hand. Pretty basic pop, but still very cool. Gun. Right there. So that's Rick Flagg. Next up, we have his love interest, the Enchantress. Now, her stand does not like to stay on. Now, this is an exclusive to the DC Legion... Legion of Collectors subscription box that Funko actually makes. Uh, I don't get that box, but I did want to have the whole Suicide Squad, of course, like I said. So I bought this off of Amazon from some seller for like a pretty good price, because this is worth a lot now. This is like really rare. I want to say this Enchantress and the Egon are the two rarest pops that I own. I mean, maybe I have another one that's rare. You guys can let me know. Maybe I'm not aware, but yeah. But her hair is so long, it like pushes the stand. See that? If I try to push the stand flat on her feet, it won't work because the hair is stopping it. <laughs> so, yeah. But I love this pop. It's very detailed. And the hair just, like, is super long. I mean, look at that. If you take the stand off, you know, you can still rotate her body right there. Just to show the other details. But, yeah. Her hair is super long and she got the... I guess that's hair going down her face. Pretty cool. Awesome looking. I love this one. So that is the Enchantress. Next up we have Katana. Get the dust off her. And she got the cuts on her face there. Or not cuts, but scars. Stand, sword. Really cool pop. Katana right there. Alright, next up is Captain Boomerang. Dry Courtney actually was good in the movie for once. Right here, Captain Boomerang. He has a little boomerang in his hand. He's wearing his little jacket. Just capped on the front. But yeah, funny character. He's got a black eye. <laughs> Cuts on his face. Funny facial hair too. But yeah, Captain Boomerang right there. All right, next up, I'm gonna bring all three out. Is the New Day from WWE? Whoops. Ah, oh, dropped my phone. Also, jeez, good thing I caught it. Did you see that? My reflexes are very fast. Caught my phone. Knocked it over with one arm, caught it with my other hand. Alright. Here we have the New Day. This was a three-pack that was exclusive to the Toys R Us. Now, they actually released uh, a picture recently. Uh, there's going to be another three-pack, but it's like a FYE exclusive, I think. And it's the New Day again, but they're wearing... He's holding uh, a Budios box... I think all three of them are... No, one of them's holding a cereal bowl, one of them's holding a Budios box, and then the other ones weren't holding something else. But And the shirts actually say Budios on them. Uh, you know, like right here, for instance, this is just plain blue, but it actually says Budios on it. Um, I actually kind of prefer these ones, though, because he's holding, you know, Francesca right here, the trombone. Or, yeah, this is a trombone, right? Um, 
Whereas in the new three pack, they're not, no one's holding Francesca. So yeah, I kind of actually prefer this pack. But yeah, here's Xavier Woods. Little horns on his uh, shoes there, funny. Kofi with little wings on his shoes. <laughs> and they all got the unicorn horns on. Big E, of course, right there. With the cool haircut. Facial hair. So yeah, that's the new day. But yeah, um, if you guys don't know about that three pack, you should uh, Google the pictures. Or, I don't know where I saw it. I might have saw it on Facebook, the picture of that. But I think it's an FY exclusive. All right, next, um, I'm going to go from the left. Barbosa here from Pirates of the Caribbean. Awesome. The sword. Now, I regret buying this Barbosa because after I bought this, they released a Barbosa that comes with a little monkey. And they also released an exclusive Barbosa, exclusive to something. I don't know what it was exclusive for, for what store or whatever, you know what I mean? But it had, there was another Barbosa that was the undead version. Or not undead, but the cursed version, you know, in Curse of the Black Pearl. They look like skeletons in the night, in the moonlight, I should say. Uh, they had a version that was Barbosa looking like that with the skeleton look and also with the monkey with the skeleton look. Ah, man, <laughs> I want to get that, but I already have this Barbosa, so it kind of sucks. But yeah, uh, I love Barbosa. He's a great character, great villain. Uh, the only thing I hate about this pop, he always falls forward. Always. It's something about the way his feet are molded. See, like I tried bending his feet, but like I don't want to break it. But every time I bend it, it doesn't work. Like, he'll still fall forward. It's because his hat is so heavy. Because the feathers on the front. But yeah. He always falls forward. And Batman's got a problem where he falls backward. <laughs> so yeah. Unfortunately, this Barbosa likes to fall. But I display him in a spot where he doesn't fall. Like, I have him kind of tilted like this. And then he's like leaned up against something. So he doesn't fall. But yeah, that's Barbosa. Played by Jeffrey Rush. All right, next we have Wolverine here from X-Men. This is not from any movie, of course, because he's never worn this outfit in the movies. They did show it in a deleted scene of uh, the Wolverine. Or no, alternate ending, I should say. He's got his claws out there. He's got his, uniform, or his uh, costume on, yellow and blue. With the black right here. But yeah, great character. I love Wolverine. One of my favorite comic characters ever. I couldn't say no to this. And I can't wait to see Logan. Oh my god. I'm seeing it on uh, Thursday uh, at 7 p.m. Because, you know, they don't even do midnight release shows anymore. Like, they'll do the day before a movie comes out, but at 7. So I like that. It's even better. So I'm going to see it in six days. I'm extremely excited. I've only heard good things about it. Because people have seen it, of course, already. It premiered, I think. Or it got a press screening before. Certain people have reviewed it already, and they're all saying great things. Like Jeremy Johns gave it awesome spectacular. <laughs> so, here's the collector from Guardians of the Galaxy. He's holding the orb, which contains the Infinity Stone, the purple Infinity Stone in it. Um, I think it's called the Power Stone, maybe. I forget which stone is which, but you know what I mean. But yeah, uh, Benicio del Toro, of course. Awesome. The little cape on. Great, great pop. Um, I got this in a sci-fi block, so I didn't intentionally buy this, uh, you know, but it's still awesome. I like it. I love the character. He's funny. All right, next up, we're moving on to Batman the Animated Series. Actually, let me just finish off with Marvel. On the right, it was Deadpool. This is a Deadpool from the comics, not from the movie, really, but awesome. He's got his little machine gun in his hand. He's got a sword. Pretty funny, and he's bobblehead. But yeah, I love this Deadpool. Really cool. Alright, next up, these are the last six right here, and these are all Batman, Batman related. We have Batman from the animated series, Kevin Conroy was the voice of course, really nice. This is a newer pop, I think. And there actually is going to be a second wave of Batman the animated series pops. They announced it, they announced it like a couple weeks ago. There's going to be Bane, there's going to be Two-Face, there's going to be uh, another Batman, but like a robot Batman, if you ever saw that episode. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see can't wait to see when those come out. I'll buy a few of those. Maybe Bane in particular and Two-Face. Um, so yeah, and unfortunately, this Batman likes to fall backward because of the cape, I think. And his feet are kind of slanted. I don't know, his feet are flat. But no, his like body posture is kind of leaning towards the back. Can you see that? Like he's leaning backward, kind of. I keep my hands down. Well, no, his body posture is not really doing that. But the cape is what brings him go, makes him go backward. And also the horns, I think, on top of his cowl so 
oh well and here's robin now when i unboxed this a few weeks ago i i said in the video i meant to buy the animated series robin this is actually just a regular robin part of the dc superheroes line um i didn't return it or anything because i was just like you know might as well just keep this might go through the hassle it's not a big deal so i intended on buying the animated series robin um the newer one but this is an older pop from like 2012 or 13 i want to say i don't see a year on this uh 2010 wow this is an old one it says 2010 I didn't even know they were making pops in 2010. I didn't find out about these pops, by the way, until like 2013 or 14. I didn't know about them. So, yeah. But now they're everywhere, so everybody knows about them, of course. But yeah, this is a very old Robin, but still very cool. I like it. So I just kept them. All right, next is Joker from Suicide Squad. This is the uh, Hot Topic tuxedo version. Um, the reason why I bought this one, I was looking... They had, What's funny about the Joker in Suicide Squad, they literally made a pop for every outfit he wears in the movie. Like, he's not in the movie much, but he has, you know, different outfits on. They made a pop for every single outfit he had on in that movie. Uh, and I thought this one was the coolest, so I went with the tuxedo one. So, yeah. They had the regular one where he's got his arms spread out, you know, he's got all the tattoos. But I didn't really like that one. I mean, just because his arms are sticking out like that. Uh, this one's way cooler, in my opinion. So, yeah, Joker right there with the tuxedo on. Awesome. All right, next up we have Joker from the animated series. My favorite Joker of all time, Mark Hamill. Um, and I love the hair on this one. It's like a nice, I almost want to say neon green. Very nice green. You got the card right there, Joker card. And look at that face. Look at that chin. <laughs> but it's so funny. I really like this one awesome joker so yeah animated series joker next up is joker dressed as batman now this is a loot crate exclusive so i didn't intentionally buy this but it's still cool i guess nonetheless and this is rare too event actually i think um this is going for some money um but yeah this is joker dressed up as batman pretty much so yeah i like the swirly eyes pretty funny <gasps> um yeah that is joker dressed as batman and last but not least, we have Harley Quinn from the Animate Series. I love this one. Not much going on here, but, you know, it's still cool. It captures her essence. You know, I wish she was holding the hammer or something, but still. Got the black and the red and the white. Kind of dusty, my bad. But yeah, that's Harley Quinn right there. And that finishes that. So, those are all my pops. Actually, let me put this over here. And let's show you what I've been doing. Look at this. I've been piling them all over here. Look at that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That was my Funko Pop collection updated. February 2017. What do you guys think? Do I have too many? Do I have too little? Which ones do I have that are rare that I didn't say? You know, oh, this one's rare, right? Um, yeah. And how many pops do you guys have? Um, which ones do you think I should get to complete, you know, certain, uh, collections like should i get more animated batman pop should i get more uh dc should i get more marvel blah 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 what would you recommend i don't know but just yeah just uh give me some feedback thanks for watching this whole video 50 something minutes 53 minutes looks like you're awesome if you sat through this whole thing um so yeah thanks for watching have an awesome day goodbye